how many is ready to actually change today? We were already talking about change, and today I am bringing the word so we can change some more. All month, I have been had this message on my heart, but I'm like, okay, God, this is for me. But no, this is for all of you too. It's titled, We Can Do This. If we think about it, what has Bishop and the minister has been talking about lately? The evangelism. The big E word. And the, the focus, the, the, the main verse is Mark 16 verse 15. It says we can go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So at the beginning of this month, Bishop decided he was going to challenge us as ministers. And he gives us a pulpit schedule and a minister schedule of what we're going to do for the, for the next month. And this time it was different. On Monday, he scheduled a couple of us ministers. And the challenge was, on a Monday, can you preach a message? You know, because last night, yesterday, I was studying for the message today. Now, come Monday morning, I have a job. I have to get up. I have stuff to do. I got to preach a message too. I'm going to find time to study for that. But it was a challenge. So let me tell you how my month went. Because he scheduled me the first week and the second week. So I was like the guinea pigs. <laughs> Set me right off, right from the very beginning. So Monday morning, I'm at work. And I'm like, okay, God, I'm looking for my opportunity because I know Bishop's looking for my title today. And I got, you know, I need to share your word today. So I'm looking. And I've been running with one of my coworkers. We drive trucks. So he had his truck. I had mine. We've been following each other for almost a month and a half now. Just our lows kept working out. I've been with them for a long time. So I'm like, all right, he's my target today. And so I was looking, found the opportunity, started sharing. I bombed. I ran out of words to say. I'm like, wow, thanks. Uh, that's good. I was so ashamed, I didn't even send Bishop my message title. <laughs> but the title of today is, We Can Do This. So, you know, that next Sunday, Bishop's like, Aaron, uh, Minister Riley, I didn't get your message title. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but the next week, I was on the schedule. You know what? I had another opportunity. And I was actually able to get over 75% of the way through it. Hey, it's progress. So, Bishop's message. How many heard, have you checked your dipstick lately? So, I pulled the dipstick out. Okay, the first time, I was low. I needed something. I had nothing. Second time, 75%. Okay, a little top off. I'm good. Then, a little bit later, that, or another week, it went by, and I wasn't on the schedule. But like, no, God, you called me to evangelize. I says, I can do that again. Yeah. Another opportunity, pulled the dipstick out, 98%. <laughs> like, woohoo, I got this. But where I failed, is I could not close. But I was 98% full. I mean, that message, the message that was inside of me was just burning. I mean, it was 30 some odd minutes of solid word for this lady. <laughs> and she was just like, wow, wow. She goes, I, just the way you brought that out, the word out, was amazing. She goes, because I walked in Babylon. I have seen Abraham's houses, because she was in the army. She was overseas. What I was talking about, I was talking about the Feast of Weeks and the Feast, and how they're relevant in Moses' day, Jesus' day, and now today. She goes, I've been there. I have seen the land where they've done that. It brought it to life for her. So I'm here today to encourage us. We can do this. Minister Mike preached a tremendous message last week. How many actually heard it? We got a few hands in the house. I know online we probably have a few hands. If you did not hear it, go back to the main website, www.bami.org, and click the video link and watch it. Because his message was, Pray for boldness. 
That first time, yeah, I failed. Bombed it. I'll admit it. But it's okay, God, I need that boldness for the next time. And then we move past that. Okay, God, thank you for the boldness. I got it. Then then another phrase that he said, which really stood out to me. Utter, or no, pray for an opportunity to utter the word. Pray for a door of utterance. I heard that. Okay, God, I can do that. That's mine. How many of you said that is mine? We have those in the house, those online. Better be having your hands raised. I know you heard that message. So my wife, amazing woman. Bishop always talks about when you know, when you have an amazing woman, you talk about her. You know, when you know somebody, you can talk about her. I have, I am very blessed. The guys at work have asked how my married life is going. I am blessed. They're jealous of the wife I have. I have the best wife out there. That was room for the rest of your men to say, no, I have the best, but no, I'll take it. But anyways, she's like, did you pray for an opportunity today? Was there an open door today? And there was times it was yes. Other times it was no. But if you pray and seek, you will have an opportunity to evangelize, to share God's word. Now, sometimes you'll get there, like I said, you fail. But you pull that dipstick out, read it accurately. And if you come up short, go back and find the message. Because the messages are in our heart. The scripture says, store this in our heart. And, you know, there is the Holy Spirit. He brings back to remembrance the food that's in our hearts. Because you don't know exactly the right message. I knew today, walking in, what I was going to share. I'm not really following any of it. But I do have the title and the focus. But you pull out from what's inside of us. If we don't take the time to store God's word in us and listen to the messages, listen to what the ministers are saying, you grab a hold of it and store it. So that when you do pull that dipstick out, you can read it. And you'll hit that full mark. You know, right now, I've been re-listening to the Feast of Week series. When those series, the Passover series comes up for Bible school, or for, for the BAM University, when the Feast of Weeks, when those series comes up, jump on them. Jump on them. Because the word is so deep, I re-listened to it, and I almost text Bishop, and I should have. But I'm like, wow, it's just so alive. I mean, there's so much in it. There's so much depth in those messages. And, you know, the one phrase that I picked up, you know, when we, could we talk about the feast? And they all thought, well, that's a Jewish thing. And the one phrase, and I believe it was first, second class of the Feast of, the feast of Week series, he says, do you know Jesus was Jew? All the apostles and disciples were Jew? This Bible is a Jewish Bible, was written by Jews? I'm like... I know I've heard that before, but that's life. That conquers anybody that says, well, isn't that a Jewish thing? No, I had the food inside my heart to know this is God's word. This is what I live by. That is the word I could share with somebody. That is what's going to change their life. So when you pull that dipstick out, you read it. It's full. So today, it is. <laughs> we got went on a double date last night. <laughs> we were walking through Frankenmuth. We're like, wow, there's no kids around. <laughs> Granted, I do love my daughters. I mean, they are amazing. You know, Saturday, wife went to work, and I was supposed to be working on my message. And, uh, you know, I went and sat on the couch for a moment. The littlest one went and sat on my lap. Wife came home an hour and a half, two hours later. She goes, you didn't feel the humidifier? Did you study for your message? No, Lily sat on my lap and I just had to sit here. <laughs> you know, but it's that quality time. You know, it is. God, you did give me three women in my house. <laughs> they do require time. <laughs> but that's life. <laughs> Yes, we're working on that. 
I do have my first fruits today. <laughs> but that's life. What did you store inside? You know, because to love our children, train them up in the way of the Lord. You know, they needed quality time. They need to know who a real spiritual father is. They need a pillar. So what's in here? Am I going to do that? At that moment, the daughter needed time. And the message came at midnight last night <laughs> after everything else. But it's taking what's in and knowing and prioritizing what is the divine, order. divine order at that moment. And the daughter needed something. Divine priority. Today, you guys need something. So we have an opportunity to change. Because the challenge came from me a month, or at the beginning of this month. Now the challenge is on you guys. We're starting a new month. Find somebody to witness to. Check that dipstick. If you have to, most of you have my, my cell phone. Text me your title, and I'll pass it to, the, to our apostle. <laughs> I'm challenging you. Take, grab a hold of you, um, rubbing elbows with uh, Minister Ryan there a little bit. Challenge. Challenge came to me at the beginning of the month. Challenge now is for you guys. We have an opportunity to change. So today, Father, I pray for the boldness for those that really heard the message today. Those that really grabbed a hold of it. I pray for the boldness for them. Father, I thank you that you gave us the Holy Spirit to give us the power to think, the power to speak, and the power to act. For those that choose you. So, Father, I just thank you for open doors that those that are looking, they will see that open door this week, and they will follow through. And I just thank you for it, Father. Amen.